Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. I'm an artist. Welcome to my YouTube channel and also my studio. I'm doing this on a Thursday, so that means it's another book review for you. And before we get started, I just wanted to thank everybody for the really nice comments. I reviewed my own book, How to Paint Animals, and I had some brilliant comments from you all, so thanks for putting comments and the thumbs up on my YouTube channel. So, on to this week's book, Brushwork Essentials by Mark Christopher Weber. It's a really different book. We're not looking at color mixing or color theory. We're not looking at anything like that. We're looking at the application of paint and how to do that with your brushes. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so let's take a look inside Brushwork Essentials. And I think it's worth pointing out straight away that Mark Weber uses um, water soluble oil paints, Holbein's Duo Aqua Oil, and he uses that in lots of the demonstrations, if not all the demonstrations in here. And if you're an artist that's wanting to get away from oils and the solvents, this could be a good introduction for that as well, because he does talk about those paints, the mediums that he uses. I've used them in the past. I haven't used that brand. I use a different brand. Personally, I didn't get on with that brand, so I, I stuck to Alkid oil paints, and that's what I've used for many, many years. He does talk about normal oil paints and the mediums as well, so it, it's applicable to both. So, brushwork. It's, it's really, this book is about the application of paint. And um, what sometimes you need a thin paint, usually in shadow, sometimes a thick paint really enlivens a paint, in, especially in the highlights, especially on surfaces like rocks, too. So, he goes into the book and he starts off with paints, solvents, mediums, and he talks about the water base quite a lot there, too, and he gives his specific colours as well. Mixing and cleaning, painting surfaces, because the painting surface really makes a difference too. And then we get into brush basics, which is a real important topic. And he's talking about the shape of the brush and also what, what the application is like with that brush. Buying quality brushes and brush K. And then a real major section how to mix paint but don't confuse this with how to mix colors because this book is not about color mixing and color theory at all this is about the mixing of paint and the application of the paint to the painting surface so here we've we've got a really interesting chart showing the thickest paint that he's got what he calls it a peanut butter so that's straight out the tube and then once he's taking it down halfway, then a mustard, and then down to like a cooking, cooking, cooking oil, sorry. And um, that's when it's really thinned down with medium. That makes a big difference, and here's why. When you're trying to apply a thick paint over a thin, wet paint, it's not going to stick. So if you're doing wet on wet, you really need to know the theory about why you need a thicker paint underneath for that thinner paint to stick on top, otherwise you're going to find real difficulties. Mix them with a palette knife and mix them with a brush. I'll just skip through a few sections, I can't go through everything on the review. So we've got brush shape and loading, that's the main part for me really in this book, it's the most important part. How to get that paint onto your brush and that how the way you load the brush determines how the paint is going to apply and sometimes beginners especially they think they need a different brush for every different mark but as you become more proficient with painting you soon find out that the same brush will produce lots of different marks and you actually need very few brushes how to load the brush body loading so it's getting a large amount of paint on the brush for the highlights in this pumpkin painting sometimes you want the highlights to really have texture and sometimes you want a thin paint to give a, a more of a glazed appearance of application multicolor loading putting two different paints on a brush so a different color on each edge and that creates a blended mark paint application surface so obviously the roughness of the surface makes a big difference how you hold the brush makes a big difference and how you apply it I'll just jump through a little bit more then we come into the demonstrations now as I said all the demonstrations use these aqua oils 
but the technique really is, would be very similar with standard oils and also with acrylics. The demonstrations are fairly brief. This is not really a book about demonstrating patents and step by steps. It's really about, as the title says, the brushwork. And brushwork very often is the difference between a beginner looking painting and advanced painting. Sometimes to create the texture you don't want to paint, paint every blade of grass. Less is more sometimes and just by the, the application of the paint you can give the same or very similar appearance. Creating layers, depth, little bit about glazing in here, not a great deal at all. Rendering detail, painting detail and the brushes required using a liner brush and then we come on to another demo we've got a flower another brief demo but it's still very valuable if you're looking for a book that's going to talk about color theory composition and all those type of things this is not the one if you're looking to improve your brushwork take that to the next level then I don't really think there's another book that goes into it as in-depth as this one and this really is very good at that so perhaps if you're more of a novice or even advanced and you want to take that brushwork to another level this is a book I would really recommend because it does make a difference getting that paint application onto the canvas and he ends with a gallery of his work and there's no doubt he really is a superb artist and there's no doubt that you know the acrylics and the water-based oils he uses performs superbly for him so i hope you've enjoyed this review and i'll do a new one for you real soon hope you've enjoyed this short video if so you may like to go over to my website jasonmorgan.co.uk there i've got lots of full-length feature videos on techniques and tips i've got ebooks I got 800 reference photos all with the new Easy Trace line art and so much more. So that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Also on YouTube every Friday I've got Free Photo Friday. Every Thursday I'm doing art book reviews and every Tuesday it's tips and also art product reviews. So don't forget to come back soon.